In this video, I'm going to show you another method for creating karaoke style captions using keyframes for your audiograms or any other time that you need to use this karaoke style effect. I recently made another video going in depth on how I do this using an SRT subret file and if you'd like to watch that, there is a link to it in the pinned comment and the description. But this is one other method that I think provides a little bit more flexibility and recently I've been preferring this one. So to to begin, we need to transcribe our audio. In the last video that I made on creating audiogram videos, I showed you how I create an SRT file using Sonics. I'm going to use the same application to create my XML file. So I've imported my audio clip and transcribed it, and now I need to split it up word by word. So to do that, I'll click on subtitles and split, and then I'm going to change the max character length to 30 and the max duration to one second. And I'll select keep subtitle as single line. So one second seems to be a little too long, so I'm going to shorten that max duration to 0.9 seconds. and that worked perfectly, so now I just need to export it. So I'll click on export, and for the file format, I will select Adobe Premiere XML file. Then in Premiere Pro, I'm going to import that XML file that I just created. After I've imported it, I'm gonna go over to my project files, and where the audio file is, I need to relink it to the audio file. So I'll right click on that and select link media. And then I'll just locate it on my desktop and link it. Then I'll double click on the sequence that the XML file creates. And you'll see that your audio clip has been split up by the subtitles you created and marked out and labeled. So I'm going to adjust my sequence settings to the video format that I'm creating. This is going to be for Instagram, so I'm using 1080 by 1080. Then I'm just going to add a text box to my video frame to start creating my captions. And adjusting my font. And before I began, I copy and pasted my audio transcript onto a sticky note on my desktop and split up my captions as I like them. So now all I have to do is copy and paste them onto my video. And then just to ensure that the text box is the exact same size and placement for all of them, I'm going to extend that text graphic to the length of my video and then make a cut wherever the captions change. You can also do this with keyframes. I prefer to do it this way. I'm not quite sure why, but you can use keyframes if you'd prefer. So I'm just going to make those cuts and add in the rest of my captions. These are going to be the background text or the not highlighted text. And then we're going to create our highlighted text on top of these. Again, you could also do this all in one text graphic using keyframes as well, but I like to sort of compartmentalize my video layers. So once I've added in all of my captions, I'm going to go over to my effects panel and change the color. So I'm going to set my fill color to this blue color and I'm going to save that as a master text style and name it background text. And then I can just apply that to all of those background captions. Then I'm just going to duplicate those captions and change the color to what I want my highlighted text to be. And I'm going to save that as a second master text style, which I'm going to name highlight text. And again, just apply that to all of those captions. And then before I start keyframing, I'm just going to add a background to my video. To do this, I'm going to use a color mat. You can use whatever you want for your background, but I'm just using a solid color background.
And now I just need to lock my background layers and we can start keyframing the highlighted text. So I'm going to select that first caption and highlight the text that I don't want to be visible. So I'll turn off the fill color and click on the stopwatch icon next to where it says source text and that will create a keyframe. So now whenever I make a change to my text on my timeline, it will create a keyframe. The great thing about using an XML file is it creates these markers that you can just click on to go to the exact spot where that word begins. So you know that all of your captions will align with your audio correctly. So now I'll just do that for the rest of my captions. This might seem really tedious and it can be depending on the length of your video, but for a 30 second audiogram such as the one I'm creating here, I actually only spent 15 minutes doing this. The advantage of doing this over using an automated audiogram application like Headliner or Wave or any of the other ones is that you have a lot more creative freedom in terms of fonts, colors, color combinations, and you can really do whatever you want and make something that is completely unique to your brand. So once I'm done doing that, this is the final product. 2017 was like my rock bottom and I started coloring with crayons then. Like I bought myself a pack of crayons. I still have that pack of crayons. Like that pack of crayons was like a life preserver in that it was just good to like be able to like color and get things out and be creative. And I like could feel myself get empty in like not always a bad way sometimes it was just like you could feel like whatever was pent up and like shaking around in your head and body getting onto the paper